Hello again, welcome to lesson 15. Joseph Adenuga here, the creator of this course titled Formula for Solving Difficult Problems of Life. I believe this course has helped you this far. This is just, you know, you know, getting to, to, to the really thing that we, this course is out to do. And I'm talking about faith. This is uh, lesson 15. Faith is facing your problem with boldness. Faith is looking your problem in the eye and saying, wait a minute, problem, you cannot rule me. Faith is saying, despite this problem, I'm going to go ahead because I believe this problem cannot kill me. It must go away. Let me give you the example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When King Nebuchadnezzar commanded that everybody must bow down to the image which he made. Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego decided we're not going to bow because we are servants of God. And he said, if you don't bow, you're going to burn. They said to Nebuchadnezzar, we don't care because we know our God can deliver us. But if he does not deliver us, we will still not bow. That is faith. Faith is holding to the word of God, looking your problem in the eye, and saying to your problem, problem, you cannot win here. Problem, I am the ruler here because God gave you power to rule your world. When God made you, God gave you a fivefold blessing, which He gave to our father Adam. And that blessing is for Adam, is for man. Adam is a representative of man, Adam is a human race. So the blessings of God upon Adam is for the human race. And so God said, Be fruitful. That's number one. Multiply. That's number two. That means you have to be fruitful in whatever you do. You have to multiply in anything you lay your hand to do. He said, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Five. Fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue the earth, and have dominion. God created you to rule. God created you to have dominion. God created you to subdue problem. Is any problem mesmerizing you? It is out of God's nature in you for you to be ruled by a problem. It is out of place for a problem to dominate you. When problem dominates you, it is out of order. There is a disorder in the spirit because you are being dominated by problem. So you need to wake up and rise by faith and look at your problem in the face and say to the problem, problem look here you cannot win you cannot overcome i am the one that is giving the power to dominate so i dominate you whatever is the problem in your life you need to speak like this because faith speaks faith speaks and i'm going to continue from there i'm still coming to this but in the next lesson i'm going to another section i'm going to the section of using psychological formula to solve your problem. Thank you. I will see you in lesson 16. God bless you.